Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling and in this session of the video we're going to specially talk about the enzyme nomenclature. We're not going to talk in this video about the classification of enzyme that would be our next video but we are going to talk about especially and specifically about the enzyme nomenclature. All right, so enzyme nomenclature, we have to remember one thing at the first, that at first, enzyme were named by adding suffix. At the beginning, they were adding suffix A's, A-S-E, to, to the substrate, such as we have got few examples regarding that is the uh, nucleases and dipeptides. You know, in the beginning, they just added up the suffix to the uh, any uh, <coughs> like for, for example like acting on the nucleic uh, nuclear thing they add up the uh, nucleases it just didn't add up to the word by changing its name to the enzyme so all you can say uh, in some condition you know they could use the reaction the catalyzed like in, in some cases if an enzyme is uh, catalyzing a particular reaction they would name it in in that sense we have got few examples regarding that we have got dehydrogenase and proteases remember that dehydrogenase and proteases just don't don't be only uh, thinking about they were named after the substrate not at all they could be named after the reaction particular reaction they catalyze uh, and also that and in case uh, so in order so what they what to happen next in order to have a uniformity and better understanding the international union of biochemistry adopted a nomenclature system which was actually based on the chemical reaction type and reaction mechanism get it so IUB adopted nomenclature which was based on the chemical reaction type two things chemical reaction type and reaction mechanism so on that basis we have got six classes of the uh, for the uh, six classes or you can say six uh, uh, classes of the enzyme so which could be remembered by the just formula that is oat halil that's how, how I remember it oat halil O T H L I L, but you have to remember that sequence. You cannot change in the sequence. You just have to remember it as it is O T H L I L. So O means like there are six classes. O one T two H three. So L I L. Total there are six. They're the short forms I made. So uh, by O we mean the oxidoreductase. We're going to talk about them in detail in the classification of enzyme. Just give you a bit idea what 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 are the names of those uh, classes. Oxidoreductase, T is transferases, H is hydrolases, L is lysases, I is isomerases, and last L is ligases. Never shuffle the ligases and lysases, uh, you know, forward and backward. Keep them in their place. In the end, ligases, always there is ligase. Because if you shuffle them, there will be a misunderstanding in putting them EC number. Or you can say... The man, a man number which was assigned to every enzyme. So we have got actually in order to uh, name an enzyme in the in the in the new era in the uh, new according to new rules by the IUB that is International Unit of Biochemistry, we have to follow a particular method. Like so, what is that method? Every enzyme has been given a particular name. What does that mean? like every enzyme has a four digit number not a name just four digit number so if you want to remember if i ask you i need an enzyme so if i give you this code 2.7.1.1 this actually means that i'm asking for the enzyme or i'm talking about the enzyme hexokinase so how would the scientist know that this is this what what this code represents so in this case we are going to talk about what this code actually represented so the first digit of the code so code consists of four number so this code represents a particular enzyme so the first digit is the main class to any class they belong we have got six main class so first digit explains which class so first digit, i'm going to give you an example in the end regarding the hexokinase but first digit remember it gives the main class from these and any class could it be second is Digit is group involved in reaction, which we can also call the subclass. The third digit is substrate, any substrate. So it is called the, what we call it, 
the sub subclass and the fourth digit explains or tells us about the serial number of that particular enzyme so in order to remember this i've got an example for you we have got hexokinase which has a code ac number uh, it's regarding exams you know teacher mostly ask about these number these uh, you know ac number so you have to remember them there are three main uh, particular uh, enzymes for them you have to remember but regarding hexokinase that is 2.7.11 what we mean by that that hexokinase hexokinase of uh, you know uh, the hexokinase actually the real name of the hexokinase is atpd hexose get it listen to me again the real name or the so IUP name of hexokinase is, is atpd hexose 6 phosphotransferase that's the real name of the hexokinase so how we can define this so hexokinase number of it belong to class 2 the first number defines the class we have talked about it class 2 which one is the t which is the transferases so hexokinase belongs to class 2 which is transferases 7 which is the subclass is actually what we talked about group involved in reaction so what we group is transfer of phosphoryl group that's it that is the 7 and in the subclass, sub subclass, which is actually the alcohol, is the this is oh sorry, the subclass is the one. And in the last case, we have got in, in the sorry, in the subclass, we have got alcohol is the one, and in the last, we have got so this one, the, the third digit actually explains the alcohol, which is the phosphoryl acceptor. We have got substrate, so we have got alcohol, which is actually phosphoryl uh, acceptor. This is it, and the last digit explains the serial number. I hope you got the easiest idea regarding the nomenclature. We have got enzyme nomenclature. This is the IUB system which we follow now, but in the previous stages we use the uh, un unknown number, known uh, names of the enzyme nucleus dipeptidase. And this is this has changed from this to this uh, this one because uh, because there were a lot of enzymes, you know, and we have similar names and contradicted with each other, so they have to move to this one better thing. So this is all regarding the enzyme nomenclature. In the next video, we're going to talk about the classification of enzyme.